Welcome to Chair Yoga for Seniors. This is a gentle style class and a couple of you recently have let me know that you have some knee pain. So I have created this class with you in mind. So we won't be doing anything that is um, going to aggravate any knee pain at all. You're going to want a chair, preferably one that doesn't have any arms along the sides. And if you have a chair with a cushion, awesome. If you're like me and you have a chair that doesn't have a cushion, if you have like a blanket or maybe a pillow, it's a little bit more comfortable to sit on and do some of the movements that we're going to do today if there's a little bit of cushion down. go ahead and sit in your chair. You want your feet to be down on the floor if you need to put uh, something underneath your feet to bring the earth up to you, like a blanket or some books or something. Go ahead and do that. And instead of just leaning back in your chair, let's go ahead and tilt the pelvis a little bit straight and through your spine. Allow your, your shoulders to soften down away from your ears and imagine the top of your head is just being gently pulled up towards the ceiling just to help with elongating your spine. So we're going to start here and let's start by coming into your breath a little bit first. So go ahead and please one hand on your lower belly and one hand on your chest. And go ahead and take a nice big inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and take another big inhale and see how your hands move as you inhale. Maybe the belly hand moves the most. Maybe the chest hand moves the most. This time when you take your next inhale, I want you to see if you can breathe into your belly first and have that hand on your belly be the one that moves outwards on your inhale. And then as you come to the top of your breath, the chest hand might come out a little bit more. So see if we can do a little more belly breathing. So as you inhale, breathe into your lower belly. Feel your belly expand, your hand will move outwards. As you get to the top of that inhale, maybe the chest does a little bit as your lungs fill up. And then as you exhale, the chest hand goes down and then the belly comes in. You can even bring your belly button in towards your spine as you exhale to make sure that you release all air. Let's do that again. Inhale through the belly, then into the chest. Exhale out the chest, and then the belly. Inhale, belly, and chest, exhale, chest, and then belly. All right, one more big inhale through the belly, up into the chest, and exhale, full release out. Awesome. You can bring your hands down to your thighs or your knees now. And that kind of breathing really helps to 
uh, remove or release tension that can be up in the shoulders and the neck area. Uh, typically people we are going to, we end up breathing through just that top part of our lungs which actually creates uh, tension in our shoulders and our chest. So if we're able to breathe more from the belly area um, then that tension doesn't get built up in the shoulders. So as we go through today see if you can keep that kind of breathing as we uh, do each posture. Okay, so we're going to uh, next start by bringing our right hand and just gently grabbing onto the edge of the chair, the right side of the chair. And as we inhale, bring their left arm up towards the ceiling and then over towards the right. So find a stretch on the left side. You can press down uh, gently through your right hand if you want. That'll help kind of create that opposing stretch. So you're pressing down through your right hand as you lift up through your left to really get a nice good stretch in the left side. And breathe. And go ahead, lower that left arm down. Let's do the other side. So left hand comes to the left edge of your chair. As you inhale, your right arm goes up towards the ceiling. And a lifting up through your right fingertips, a slight pushing down through your left hand. And you'll feel a stretch right here along with the rib cage in your right side, maybe even your shoulder a little bit, maybe even your right hip. Now and release. Bring your left hand to your right knee, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, begin to twist towards the right. You can bring your right hand or right arm to the back of your chair, just to help you twist a little bit more towards the right. Maybe your gaze goes towards um, back behind you. And do your best to have this twist come from the lower belly, lower spine, twisting from the hips. You can use your left hand on the side of your knee just to kind of help propel you in this direction. And slowly back to center. Let's do the other side. So right hand, left knee, left arm can come to the back of your chair, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist towards your left. Doing twists like these are really helpful for the spine as well as proper digestion and proper elimination as well too. And nice and slow, come back to center. Bring your hands to either your thighs or your knees. Just to start, we're gonna do some cat cows. So as you inhale, bring your belly and your chest forward, your shoulders and your elbows are gonna go back. 
coming into your cow. Your, your tailbone is going to stick back towards the back of your chair and your gaze will lift up just a little. And then as you exhale, your hands might slide forward towards your knees, tucking more of your tailbone. Shoulder blades separate as you round through your spine, your chin comes towards your chest. So inhale, cow, chest comes forward. Exhale, round into your cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Go ahead and go at your pace. So as you inhale, you come into your cow position. As you exhale, you round your spine. Just bringing some movement, fluidity into your back, your spine. Okay, do one more each. And then come back to neutral. Go ahead and come forward a little bit onto your chair. So you're seated right on the edge of your chair and your feet are about hip width distance out in front of you, um, still flat on the floor. And we're going to do a little bit of lifts with our leg to help with building strength in the hip flexors, which are right at the front where the hip meets the leg. So go ahead and lift your right knee up off the floor. Hold for a second. And then lower that leg down. Lift the knee up. Lower the leg down. This is going to work your core a little bit too. So you can gently tuck your belly button in towards your spine. Go ahead and keep lifting that leg up and down. You'll feel it in your hip flexor. Probably the top of your, your right thigh as well too. Let's do one more. Lift up and down. Okay, and let's do the other side. So left knee lifts up and down, up and down, up and down. You really start to feel it after a few rounds. <laughs> we don't uh, always work our hip flexors much, do we? Okay, let's do one more. Lift up and down. Okay, let's do a little bit more for the hips. So similar concept, but instead of lifting the knee up, we're going to bring it out towards the side. Um, this is what I call a fire hydrant. Uh, we're just gonna do it from a chair today. So slightly lifting um, the foot off the ground. You're going to bring your right knee out towards the side and then bring it back in. So right knee opens out, and then bring it back, opens out towards the side, and back. You can either leave your leg fully off the floor for the entire movement. That will increase um, the, the work of the hip a little bit more. Or when you come back to center, you can lower the leg down for a second. Give your, your hip joint a little bit of a break. And then open to the side. And bring it back. Open to the side. And back. And last one, open. And back. Okay, and left side. So our uh, leg comes off the floor just slightly, open to the left and center, open 
center, open, center, open. Let's do two more. And last one. Okay, both feet on the floor. Nice work. Let's do a little bit for the upper body now that we've done a little bit with the lower body. So bring your arms up towards the side. Go ahead and bend at your elbow in a 90 degree angle so you have uh, cactus arms here. And we're just going to start by getting into the shoulders. So begin by bringing the elbows back towards the back of your chair so your shoulder blades are coming together on your back. Your collarbone is going forward slightly. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then reverse that motion. Bring your elbows together, your forearms together, hands together. And separate through your shoulder blades a slight rounding. And even press your arms together, okay? Open up. Elbows back, shoulder blades together, and arms come in front of you, shoulder blades separate. Open, and close. So really activate the muscles in your shoulders when you do this. So press your arms together, open them up. Press your arms together, open them up. Last time, press your arms together and open them up. Wonderful. Go ahead and keep your arms up. Just come back into that kind of neutral place. And we're just going to do a little bit of twisting. So with your arms up like this, twist towards the right. Come back to center. And then again, to the right, back to center. See if you can sink your breath with this as well too. So as you twist, exhale, center, inhale. Okay, twist, exhale, center, inhale. Twist, exhale, center, inhale. And really see if you can sync that movement with your breath. Go at whatever rhythm works for you. Let's do a couple more. If your arms get tired, you can still do the same twisting movement. Just bring your arms down. Okay, back to center. And let's do the left side. So twist towards the left and center. Left and center, left, center, a few more, and center, let's do two more, mm -hmm. I call this the, the sprinkler head, <laughs> you know those, those old style uh, sprinkler heads, okay, come back to center, go ahead, Allow your hands to come down to your thigh or your knees. If you need to roll out your shoulders a little bit, go ahead and do that. Roll them back a few times. Forwards a few times. Okay. So have your feet about hip width distance, maybe slightly more. We're going to get into the muscles of the back now. So Hands are going to come to our hips. Belly button is going to come, it's going to tuck in towards our spine gently. And our aim here is to keep a flat back as much as possible. Okay, we're wanting to use the muscles of the back um, and build strength in those muscles. So with our hands on our hips, our belly button tucked in, what we're going to do is just Hinge at our hips, so we're not going to be bending from the lower back. We're going to be bending from the hips. 
And as you bend forward, go as low as what works for you. And then lift yourself back up. So lower the chest down, lift yourself back up. Now you're gonna feel this in your core and you're gonna feel this in your back and that's what we want, okay? That means that you are using the muscles of your torso, those stabilizing muscles in your back and in your core to do this movement, this motion. So we're strengthening the back muscles and the core, which is a very important thing. Okay, go ahead and do a few more. Hinge at your hips. Hands up. Lower. Hands up. Lower. And last one up. Okay, awesome. Still on the, um, the front part of your chair. Extend your left leg out long. And we're just gonna point and flex our toes. If you keep your leg a little bit higher like this, you're gonna be using the muscles of your quad and your hip flexor a little bit more. So if that's a little bit too much for you, just lower your leg down towards the ground. Still lift it up off the ground if you're able. Point and flex, point and flex. I guess you could, um, if that's just too much for your thigh and your, your hip flexor, since we have done a little bit with those muscles already today, you can do this movement with your heel on the floor too. So point and flex, point and flex, getting into the calf muscle a little bit here, bring some movement into the ankle. Okay, let's switch sides. So extend out through the right leg, Point and flex, point and flex. So really using all the muscles of the leg. It's all connected. Oh, point, flex. One more, point and flex. Go ahead and lower your right leg down. Keep your right leg straight though. So your heel is on the floor and your toes are up towards the ceiling. And then similar thing with what we did with our torso lifts. But now we're, we're still gonna be hinging at the hips, but we're going to uh, find a stretch in the hamstring. So hands on your hips, nice straight spine. Tilt yourself forward as you're folding over your right leg, or both legs really. And go as much as until you feel the stretch in your hamstring. And if you want to put your hands on your left knee, uh, that's totally fine. Wherever is comfortable for you. The aim is just to find a stretch in your hamstring on your right leg. And do your best to keep your, your spine straight if possible. Nice big breath. And then you can use your hands on your knee or just use those back muscles again if you're able to lift yourself all the way up. And we'll switch sides. Left leg extends out long, toes reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward over your left leg. Find the stretch in your hamstring. One more big breath. And then lift yourself back up. Both feet flat on the floor again, knees are bent. Let's just do a little forward fold to get a little stretch through the body a little bit. So you might wanna scoot back just a little bit 
on your chair, probably not fully all the way back on your chair though, but a little bit. And we're just going to allow our torso to come down over our knees. Hands come towards the floor. Forehead towards your calves. Allow your head to hang heavy. A nice big breath. In and out. Feel the stretch in your back, maybe your hips. Maybe the release in your shoulders and your neck. And then nice and slow, lift yourself back up and do go slow. We just had our head upside down. So as we bring it right back up, uh, we don't want to rush that, so go slow to bring yourself back up to a seat. You can sit back all the way in your chair now. Keep your spine nice and straight though, so nice straight spine, shoulders down and back. Crown of your head lifts up towards the ceiling just slightly. You can close down your eyes if you'd like to and take a nice big inhale. Exhale out. See if you can do that belly breathing. Big inhale. And exhale out. Let's do one more big inhale. This time the arms come up towards the ceiling. Inhale up. You can bring your gaze to look up at your fingertips. Exhale, hands can come down towards your lap. Let's do one more big inhale, arms go up. Exhale, hands come down. Thank you so much for joining me today in this chair yoga for seniors class. I love to know how it went for you. So let me know in the comments down below how that was for you and I look forward to seeing you in another video, another class on another day. Have a beautiful day.